So after the painting, a barbecue, and then a haircut. Do some action now. Can you do some action for him? There you go, you, you hold the sword. Just, there you go. Chad, Chad, Chad! Chad! Oh, man. So that kind of thing, we have to be approved. No! Nobody's coming. Um, I get to deliver free. If you spend over thirty pounds, they deliver it to you. Yeah. Oh, so. Go feed the children. Cut his ear off. Serve him right. <laughs> Look down, you old squirt. Are you meant to? No. Oh. Which one do you want? No, I haven't. Your hair, you got a dangly bit. Are you meant to? Yeah. I got sorted. You just work very fashionable. Right. Sort okay, yourself out. You turned to me. Shadows. Some of the shadow petals, that is. And we've got to find finally the very, very darks. They are dead if you if you touch them. And you, you, the last coats have to be absolutely fresh. So the sun's gone round, and the whole thing is now in shade. Right, let's see what that looks like, shall we? That's that. Looks nice, doesn't it? And then we photograph it properly. Here we go, glazed and mounted and framed. So I haven't stylized it, except for losing my itsy bitsy impressionist technique, perhaps towards the end, as I make these colours work one to another. The feeling that the centres of these poppies need to be that little bit darker in places. I think I'm about there actually. 
I think that'll do. Okay, stop. I think I've gone as far as I want to go with this one. It's um, coming up to one o'clock, so I've been at it two hours, which isn't too bad for a painting of this size. Try and get some nice shots that you can paint from, or I can paint from later. And that's where we've been painting. Very nice tench, indeed. Getting back in again pretty sharply. There we go then. Oh. 39 pound of fish. The biggest pike I've ever caught and probably ever likely to catch. Let's get him back in again. Let's take a last look at it before we take it out into the sunlight to see it better. Here at least you can see the texture on the fish a bit better now, look, and how that was managed. Right down in close, you see, it gives that feeling of those scales, very much like a pike. And I'll do this there again, right down to the fins and the veins on the fins. It's got the filler on the bird, now we just need some on the bird, now we just need to uh, white emulsion it and sand it. Let's see it in sunlight now.
needed, just use brushes only on this piece. There's this fish coming up for floating stuff here, so I'm going to give it a go with um, some bread and then maybe try a bit of dog biscuit. Put a pellet band on them and see if we can get them with a dog biscuit. Put some of this bait in up here, it's drifting down to the reeds. I've seen some fish coming up down there. And then whack it over near those weeds. Right out there, see if anything else comes up. Well, we've got a nice carp out after all that. I just put the camera away. But um, we'll carry on today, see if we can get any more. Put this one away. 12, 13, 13, nearly just 14. Just on 14 pounds then. Off he goes. Fish were a bit spooked after about 14 pounds. I decided to come the other side of the lake and try for bream and tench here. Maybe we go back across there this evening, we'll see how time goes. But the weather's changed so much. Look at the now t shirt. Well, this thing can move, you're going to get nice run. It looks like a nice tench. Beautifully conditioned golden ring tench. Not a huge fish, but gave a very good account for its size. And it's about four pound. And away it goes. Ten did touch her. Let's have a look at him. Get him back in quick. Having said that, right at the end of the evening, we've got some moss on and got a nice fish on the Weigh it up and we'll see, it's a lovely fish. Yes, I thought about 10, 9 pound 98, so nearly, nearly on the 10.